Well, Jacques, uh, Willie Green made his debut tonight. What did you see from him in his uh, 20 or so minutes? Yeah, I thought he was um, good on both ends of the floor. He gave us a physicality on the defensive end of the floor. He communicates. He helps his teammates. Uh, and then offensively, he uh, had drives to the rim. Uh, he was able to have the basketball in his hands. Uh, excellent skip pass to uh, Tobias tonight. Just an overall good feel on both ends of the floor for uh, Willie tonight. Yeah, I think you had 20 fast break games. You really pushed the ball hard all night long. Are you, are you liking the way the pace you guys are playing with? Decent. <laughs> I would have liked uh, to double those uh, fast break points. And we'll continue to challenge our guys. Uh, we're going to use everybody. We need everyone uh, for us to uh, uh, have a chance. And um, we'll continue to stress pushing the pace. That's something we do want to do. Coach, talk about the uh, persistent effort you got from Aaron Gordon, especially in that fourth quarter where he had nine. I just think overall, uh, you know, he's continuing to learn. You know, this is his fourth game, or I think the third, fourth, whatever game this is for, for our guys. And uh, when different situations are presenting themselves, what you do feel is his aggressiveness on the floor, whether that's going for an offensive rebound, whether that's uh, uh, playing post defense, you feel him. Uh, when you watch the game, and, and that's a good start. Uh, Jock, the, the defense again, you know, for game statistic, statistics at least, did a good job. But you talked about trying to see a consistent effort through all parts of the game, uh, even with the numbers being what they are, the, the preseason numbers, obviously. Uh, what what do you see in the defense that still needs to improve on as you know now we're at the halfway point of the, pre of the preseason games at least moving forward? Yeah, overall, uh, you know, to, to be close to 40% uh, again tonight, that's a good sign for us. Uh, uh, I think we'll continue to work on and uh, give it up 33 tonight, a little bit too many. Uh, so we'll, we'll address that, we'll watch a little tape, see how we can be early uh, and do our work a little early. That'll help us. Communication and transition. We gave them a few too many transition threes, uh, but these are areas we can clean up. Uh, but the overall you know, foundation of what we at are right now, uh, not bad. How happy are you with the uh, 56 points in the paint tonight, and what really allowed you guys to pound the paint more? Well, I think it started early. I think uh, whether it was uh, Nick established himself, uh, we've talked about uh, having the ability to get to the rim. We want to be aggressive and make it tough on the opponents. And part of that is driving the basketball. And uh, sometimes it won't look pretty, uh, but overall, uh, we want to be aggressive in uh, what we do. Coach, you said, you know, we need everyone. I noticed they had four pretty good players that didn't even play tonight. But would you expect early in the season, but while things are shaking down, to be using a lot of guys playing a lot of minutes? What I do expect is for our guys to be ready every single night. Uh, so you take early on in the season uh, our road schedule and the fact of the amount of back-to-backs uh, -back that we have. I want every guy to be honed in on the task and be ready to play and uh, suit up thinking that you're going to get into the game because uh, a lot of times we're going to need to use you. Was the decision tonight not to play Mo, not to play Evan? A concession to the fact that there are three preseason games in, in four days and wanting to play Willie and Devin a little bit? Without a doubt, we have basically three games and in, in, uh, in four nights and I think Evan wanted to show off his new boots so we allowed him not to have on his uniform. Nice boots. Uh, Alfred had, you know, at least statistically maybe um, a, a bit of a struggle tonight. Uh, I know Flamingo probably pressed a little bit more than a typical NBA team might as well. What did you see from Alfred as he was kind of working through some of those turnovers and, and some of the mistakes that, that were made in kind of an unfamiliar setting that, that you might see you know, from moving forward? Yeah, great turnovers for him to learn from. Uh, and we'll get a chance to watch film. Uh, but you see the intent of his passes. And uh, so he'll start to read how you know guys are a little bit longer, a little bit faster. Uh, so sometimes he might have to finish at the rim. Sometimes he will be able to dump it off. Uh, but I think his overall intent when he gets into the lane, uh, pretty impressive so far. Coach Luke Ridner had uh, 11 points, five assists off the bench. Monday, Ben Gordon had a good game off the bench. How does that make you feel about your depth at guard coming off the bench? 
Well, I think overall, you know, these guys are here because uh, they can play and they're veterans and they've been there, done that. Uh, and so we want to put them in a position to have success. Luke has been extremely good for us in camp, uh, whether it's practicing every day that he's been here or, or rather uh, or also being steady as a rock when he's been on the floor. Also, to, to let our young guys see him on a nightly basis has been pretty good for us. Has Kyle been working on that three-point shot much? Uh, he didn't have one in his first two seasons, and he hit one to begin the second quarter there. Is this uh, something that he's adding to his repertoire this season? If you guys don't jinx it, uh, you might see him shoot a few more. <laughs> Coach, just talk about your reaction to that crowd atmosphere tonight, especially from the Brazilian contingent. Made it a little extra festive in there tonight. Yeah, I love it. I, I've uh, you know, been able to be at some international games and just the uh, – you know, the, the livelihood of the crowd and, and uh, you know, the series of chants and in and, and unison is, is pretty cool. And uh, for our guys to feel it and sense it and appreciate uh, how, how fans love the game is pretty cool. Coach, what did you see out of Dwayne tonight and what are you hoping to see from him this season? You know, he's continuing to, to get better. Uh, you, you look at him, uh, he is playing to his strengths. Uh, whether that's blocking shots at the rim, whether that's running up and down the floor and creating a tempo with us. Um, he's making it tough for me not to play him, and uh, that, that's his job. All right. We good? All right. Thank you. Thanks.